A straight wire carrying a current of 12 ampere is bent into a semicircular arc of radius 2 cm as shown. What is the direction and magnitude of magnetic field at the center of the arc in figure 1? Would your answer change if the wire were bent into a semicircular arc of same radius but in opposite way as in figure B? So two figures are also given. This is an NCRT question as well as board question also. So we have to find out magnetic field at the center of this semicircular arc in the first case and in the second case. This is figure A, this one is figure B as given. We know the direction of magnetic field at the center of a circular current loop is what is the magnetic field at the center of a circular current loop B equals mu 0 i divided by 2 r, r represents the radius. We know magnetic field at the center of the circular current loop is B equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 r that is the magnetic field at the center of a circular current loop. If it is a semicircular current loop then magnetic field semicircular loop or semicircular arc then the magnetic field at the center will be B equal to mu 0 i divided by 4 r ok that is a change. So magnetic field at the center of semicircular arc is mu 0 i divided by 4 r. We can calculate the magnitude and direction of magnetic field at the center of the arc in the first case. This is the first case in figure A. Figure A we know current is 12 ampere radius is equal to 2 centimeter. What is the magnetic field at the center? We can substitute mu 0 i divided by 4 r. Mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. Current is given by 12 ampere divided by 4 into what is its radius 2 into 10 raised to minus 2. So sub substituting and cancelling 4 get and 4 get cancelled 12 and 2 get cancelled and it will be what is the answer 18.84 into 10 raised to minus 5 tesla. So magnetic field at the center of the circular current loop is the circular current loop is 18.84 into 10 raised to minus 5 tesla. Then what is the direction of magnetic field? Direction of magnetic field is given by right hand thumb rule stated in second way. Okay, the forefinger represents the direction of current, thumb represents the direction of magnetic field. So here the loop is like this, no? So the forefinger represents the direction of current. So this represents the direction of current. So what is the direction of magnetic field? perpendicular outward normally outward ok so current is in this direction thumb is in the outward direction so direction of magnetic field is what is the direction of magnetic field normally out of the paper so direction of magnetic field is the direction of magnetic field is normally out normally out of the paper Then in the second case, second case also the current remains same, uh, radius remains same. So is there any change in magnetic field? Okay, same loop but it is bounded in the second way, another way, it is bent in another way. So magnetic field remains same that is mu 0 i divided by 4 r, same value that is 18.84 into 10 raised to minus 5 tesla because current remains same, radius remains same. But what is the direction of magnetic field? It is uh, it is bent in another way, no? So current here in, in, that, in this direction, what is the direction here? This is the direction of current. So what will be the direction of magnetic field into the plane of paper? That is also given by right hand thumb rule. So in this case, in the second case, the direction of magnetic field is the direction of magnetic field is normally the direction of magnetic field is into the plane of paper. Okay. identical circular wires P and Q each of radius capital R and carrying current I are kept in perpendicular planes such that they have common center as shown. Find the magnitude and direction of net magnetic field at the common center of the two loops. 
here two loops are given p and q and they are placed like this we have to find out net magnetic field at the center of the two loops we know magnetic field at the center of the circular current loop is b equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 r so in the loop a p and q the magnetic field the, the magnitude of magnetic field at the center remains same because current is same and radius also remains same now how do you find out the net magnetic field for that we have to find out the direction also isn't it so here in the side in the loop p this is the loop p here this represents the front region and this represents the back region so look the current is flowing in this direction the loop is placed like this okay loop is placed like this here the loop is placed like this here current is in this direction so what is the direction of magnetic field at the center the direction of magnetic field is in which direction thumb represents the direction of uh, magnetic field so current is in which direction this is the direction of current so direction of magnetic field is in the upward direction okay so due to the loop p the direction of magnetic field at the center is in which direction upward direction this, so this is the direction of magnetic field due to loop p and due to this one due to the loop q here the loop q is placed like this loop p is placed like this and loop q is placed like this here this represents the direction of current okay here in the downward direction so here current is in the downward direction so what is the direction of magnetic field at the center it is towards right okay so here at the center the direction of magnetic field is towards right so magnetic field at the center due to the current in loop p and uh, q are given right now how will you find out the net magnetic field by using here two vectors are in this direction by using parallelogram law vector addition we can find out the result and we can complete the parallelogram and uh, what is the direction of the result and diagonal v is the direction of the result isn't it children so direction of magnetic field due to the first loop and second loop are given represented by bp and bq and they are in different direction they are perpendicular 90 total angle is 90 degree between them so how will you find out the resultant magnetic field by using parallelogram law of vector addition this is the resultant b so net magnetic field at the center due to both the loop is b okay so magnetic field at the center due to first loop and the second loop so we can write magnetic field at the center due to first loop bp equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 r and magnetic field at the center due to second loop is bq equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 r and net magnetic field is given by the parallelogram law of vector addition and it is given by we know it is root of if uh, a and b are the two vectors of uh, two representing two sides of a parallelogram resultant is given by root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta that you know so here it is what is the value bp square okay plus bq square plus 2bp bq cos theta what is theta angle between bp and bq they are perpendicular so cos 90 okay simplifying cos 90 is 0 so this can be written as root of bp square plus bq square both the values are equal no bp and bq are equal so it can be written as root of 2 into mu 0 i divided by 2 r the whole square is equal to root 2 into mu 0 i divided by 2r so net magnetic field at the center due to both the loop is net magnetic field is b equals mu 0 i divided by 2r into root we can simplify it also mu 0 i divided by root 2 into r this root 2 and 1 root 2 get cancelled so mu 0 i divided by 2r okay now how will you find out the direction of magnetic field direction of magnetic field is given by tan theta that you know so tan theta let this angle is alpha or theta any value so tan alpha gives so direction is given by tan alpha tan alpha equal to opposite side what is opposite side here bp 
so tan alpha equal to BP divided by what is adjacent side here BQ so tan alpha equal to what is the value of BP and BQ both are equal isn't it BP and BQ are equal so tan alpha is equal to 1 so what is the value of alpha if tan alpha is equal to 1 alpha is equal to 45 degree so resultant is at 45 degree from BQ or this angle is also 45 or we can say that the resultant is 45 degree from BP. Okay, so direction is given by this gives the direction. Direction is given by tan alpha, tan alpha equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side and the direction of the resultant is given by 45 degree from BP or from BQ. Two identical circular loops P and Q each of radius R carrying currents I and 2I respectively are lying in parallel planes such that they have common axis. The direction of current in both the loop is clockwise as seen from O which is equidistant from the both the loops. Find the magnitude of magnetic field at the point O. So O is a point equidistant from both the loops. Okay, so the total distance between the two loop is 2R means what is the distance between center and the each loop that is equal to R that we know. Now, what is the current flowing through the loop P? Current flowing through loop P is I and current flowing through loop Q is 2I that is also given. Now, we have to, we have to consider ourselves at the observer. Okay, now what is the direction of current through the loop P? through the loop P here we have to here the uh, in the question itself it is given the direction of current in both the loop is clockwise as seen from O ok so here is O I am standing at the point O here this is the first loop P so here if you are observing from the point O the direction of current is clockwise ok so this is P and here this can be considered as a Q. So, if we consider first we can consider the loop P. If we are observing from the point O what is the direction of current? Current is clockwise is not it? Current is clockwise as observed from O as seen from O. So, here if we, we are observing from the point O the current is clockwise means this represents the direction of current we know using right hand thumb rule in a in a circular loop four finger represents the direction of current then thumb represents the direction of magnetic field. Here if you are observing the loop P from the point O current is clockwise as given in the question it is clockwise, clockwise as seen from O. So we are observing from the point O so current is clockwise, current clockwise means here this represents the direction of current so what will be the direction of magnetic field towards left. So magnetic field at the point due to the first loop P is towards left. So from the point O what is the direction of current through loop P current is clockwise. So if it is in the clockwise direction what is the direction of magnetic field we know the direction of magnetic field is towards left. So here in the figure we can mark PP. So what is BP magnetic field at the point O due to the first current loop P. Here the current through the loop P is I, here the current through the loop Q is 2I that we know. So here we can uh, write the formula as magnetic field at the point due to the first loop can be written as here it is what is the formula we have the formula magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop is given by mu 0 I R square divided by 2 into r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 that is a general formula obtained from biot Severs law. Here is equal to here capital R radius is small r ok radius is given by small r and the current through the first loop is i ok. So here we can write mu 0 i small r square divided by 2 into r square plus x. In the formula in the derivation x represents the distance between center of the loop and the point ok center of the loop and the point point where we have to find out the magnetic field. So what is the distance between center of the loop and the point that is r is not it total distance is 2r therefore this distance is r. So here we can write r square plus r square the whole raised to 3 by 2. 
so it can be substituted as equal to mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into r square plus r square is 2 r square 2 r square the whole raised to 3 divided by 2 ok so it is equal to mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into 2 raised to 3 by 2 so 2 into 2 raised to 3 by 2 is 2 raised to 5 by 2 powers are added 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r cube ok here we can write the direction what is this direction direction is towards left clear similarly we can find out the magnetic field at the same point due to the loop q so due to the loop q magnetic field bq equal to same formula here what is the direction of magnetic field here the direction of magnetic field here i am standing at the point o here what is the direction of current current is in the clockwise clockwise means like this current is in the clockwise direction means here what is the direction of magnetic field using right hand thumb rule here this represents the direction of current and uh, towards right is the direction of magnetic field forefinger represents the direction of current thumb represents the direction of magnetic field so what will be the direction of magnetic field at the point due to the second loop towards right q okay children so formula remains same mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 but here what is i given current is equal to 2i isn't it so it is equal to mu 0 2i radius is smaller so r square divided by 2 into here also r square plus r square the whole raised to 3 by 2 because x is equal to r similar to the first case so it is mu 0 2i r square divided by 2 into 2r square the whole raised to 3 by 2 so here also it becomes mu 0 2i r square divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r cube ok 2 raised to 1 here 2 raised to 3 by 2 that becomes 2 raised to 5 by 2 to r cube or it can be written as is equal to mu 0 2i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r one r get cancelled r square get cancelled so mu 0 2i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r here also we can write the same thing here mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r ok mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r here also mu 0 2 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r so here if you consider the figure magnetic field at the point due to first loop p is towards left magnetic field at the point due to second loop is towards right so both are in the opposite direction therefore net magnetic field is what is the net magnetic field net magnetic field is here we can write the direction towards right so what is the direction of net magnetic field if you compare the two values bp and bq this is bp and this is magnetic field due to second loop bq so bq is greater no because mu 0 2i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r here it is mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r so bq is greater therefore we can write bq minus bp if two vectors are in opposite direction we can subtract the two vectors so here also bp and bq are along the opposite direction therefore bq minus bp so bp minus bq we can write bq what is bq mu 0 2i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r minus mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r can be taken outside here it becomes 2 minus 1 isn't it is equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 raised to 5 by 2 into r this is the final answer and what will be the direction of that resultant that is since bq is greater no therefore net magnetic field is towards right so this is the method of finding net magnetic field due to two circular loops